Your engine is much like your body. If one part isn't working properly, it can affect the entire system. The NOx sensor is an important part of your engine that helps to keep it running smoothly. If this sensor isn't working correctly, it can cause a lot of problems for your car. Most bad NOx sensor symptoms are easy to detect, as you will notice bad acceleration and a rough engine idle, but some are more subtle, like bad fuel damage and catalyst damage. In this video, we will discuss five bad knock sensor symptoms that you need to watch out for. What is a car knock sensor? A car knock sensor, or a contactless knock sensing system, is an electronic device that uses piezoelectric technology. Piezoelectricity is electricity resulting from pressure on certain types of material, such as quartz and certain types of ceramic material. Bad knock sensor symptoms. If you have a bad knock sensor or ABS noise, it usually means the engine is misfiring and that's not good. It causes decreased performance and higher than normal emissions, as well as possible catalyst damage and an elevated and rough idle. Symptoms of a bad knock sensor would be number one, rough idle backfires on deceleration. This symptom is one you're going to feel. The engine feels like it's going to seize up or stop running completely. It's a terrible feeling and not something you want to play around with. Number two, bad acceleration. This symptom is one you're also going to feel when driving your car, but much less pronounced than the above symptom. The power will be much lower and overall drivability will suffer, especially in low gear. Number three, service engine soon light on steady or flashing. The service engine soon light indicates ignition misfire from a bad knock sensor code in your car's computer memory. If the car has a steady light and no codes are present, but you still have symptoms, there could still be a bad knock sensor lurking inside the distributor housing that is undetected because it hasn't set a bad misfire code yet. There could also be other causes for the code and symptoms, but we'll save those for another day. Replacing one or both knock sensors is not a difficult job and shouldn't take more than about an hour to complete. The hardest part might be getting to either sensor on some models. Number four, bad fuel economy. This symptom is one you can feel in your wallet when you get to the gas station. The car will use considerably more fuel than normal, especially in city driving or at part throttle. If you notice this, check for low power and rough idle first to see if they are the cause. Number five, catalyst damage. A bad knock sensor can damage your car's catalyst, resulting in elevated HC, or hydrocarbons, emissions, and possibly even lower MPG. The hydrocarbons from an engine misfiring or running poorly will be released into the atmosphere without burning them completely. It's a big no-no for our environment and will result in a collapsed catalytic converter if done too much over too long of a time period. What problems can a bad knock sensor cause? A bad knock sensor can cause several problems. The first is failed emissions testing. If the car is running rich, the fuel mixture will not pass, even though you have fixed all internal engine problems. Second are elevated HC levels in your exhaust stream after the catalytic converter. Third, are elevated CO or carbon monoxide levels due to an improper air fuel mix which do not burn completely because of the misfire caused by a bad knock sensor. Whilst most likely there will be no noticeable symptoms if one or both knock sensors fail, this does not mean that you should wait to replace them as they age and start malfunctioning as described above. Replacing a bad knock sensor on some vehicles. On most cars with distributor-less ignition or DIS and electric ignition, you simply pull out the old sensor and push in the new knock sensor. There may be a retaining bracket holding it in place that can either be removed or bent out of the way to remove the faulty sensor. Then, using some anti-seize on the new one's threads, if available, screw it into place with a wrench or socket until tight. On most cars with distributor ignition, there is a knock sensor wire going from the engine to the back of your car's dashboard for diagnostic purposes so you can see how badly your car is misfiring at any given time. This wire will need to be unplugged from its connection under your dash before removing or replacing it 
as well as plugged back into its connection after it is installed. You will need to remove the wire from its connection under your dash before removing or replacing the sensor. On most cars, with the distributor ignition, there will be two wires going to each knock sensor. One carries a signal and one carries voltage for the sensor's heater element, if equipped. These are usually plugged together on one end of both wires and plugged together on the other end onto the ECU or engine control unit. Make sure they are unplugged during installation as well as afterwards when plugging them back in. The picture above shows an old style oxygen sensor electrical connector that can be used to plug in during replacements if an available NOx sensor wiring harness slot is not available under your car's dashboard. Please note that on some models the NOx sensors are located next to each other and only one is shown in the pictures. You will need to unplug both wires from their connection under your dash before removing or replacing the sensor regardless of how many there are. What causes a knock sensor to malfunction? There are many things that can cause a knock sensor to malfunction, but the most common are detonation or knocking caused by an overly rich air or fuel mixture, hot engine temperatures or other problems, worn piston rings, valves or cylinder walls, increase pressure in the cylinders and leads to pre-ignition or knocking, and misfiring spark plugs which create erratic combustion and increased pressure in the cylinders causing pre-ignition or knocking. To summarise what we talked about in this video, a bad knock sensor can cause a lot of problems. The most common are failed emissions testing, high HC and CO levels in the exhaust, low power and rough idle. If you're experiencing any of these problems, it might be time to replace your knock sensors. Most cars with distributor-less ignition or electronic ignition make replacement very easy, but on cars with distributor ignition, it may be a little more difficult. Make sure you unplug the knock sensor's wiring harness before removing or replacing it to avoid any problems. If your car is running poorly, has failed emissions testing or has high levels of HC and CO in the exhaust, it might have a bad knock sensor. If you don't know how to check for yourself, make sure to visit a professional. We hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of our videos.